Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Legend Driver from Kamen Rider Guchard. Although technically it's a special Guchard vs. Legend that they're doing as part of the Tokusatsu, or Toei Tokusatsu fan club, their online website, they put out specials and stuff. That's where it is right now, but I believe there are rumors that Legend is going to make it onto the full show pretty soon. I think to combat its low ratings, but again, speculation. Uh, but this looks really cool. I really like Legend's design, kind of another spiritual successor to Decade and D-End. He's kind of a mashup of Decade and D-End because he has a driver very similar to Decade's, and then he has a gun very similar to D-End's. So he's kind of the fusion of the two. Uh, so he will be using the Legend Rider Gachard uh, Kemi Rise cards. He comes with a card for himself, Legend, of course. And then we also have cards for Kuga and Fize, and they have a fusion together. We'll take a look at all that, even though we've seen that before because these two cards that were made available previously in, the I think, Phase 1. I think they were both in Phase 1. So we've seen that combo already. But you know what? For fun, we'll do it again. Anyway, front of the packaging here, Driver featured very prominently. Legend featured over here on the left. Taking a look at the top, though, this is a really cool uh, shot of all the Heisei Riders. I think that's really, really cool. A couple of Reiwa uh, riders sneaking in there as well. You got Zero One, there's Saber, got Revi. Is Vice on? Yeah, Vice is right next to him. Is Geats on here? Yeah, there's Geats. So we got all of the Reiwa and Heisei riders. Very cool group shot. I like that quite a bit. Uh, down here, not much going on, but it is letting you know that you will need three AAA batteries. They are not included, so you will need to supply those on your own. Over here on this side, just showing you what's included in the box. And then over here, uh, just kind of showing you how the driver flips open, very similar to the Cade. And again, we'll take a look at all that. Flipping it around to the back, again, showing you how it works. Unfortunately, I do not have the Cade's Ride Chemi card, so I will not be able to show that off, but I'm going to try and show you as many riders as I can. Uh, and then we'll take a look at some of the other stuff functionality in the uh, Gachar driver as well. All that good stuff. So there's definitely a lot to take a look at with this one. So without further ado, let's get this out of the box and we'll take a closer look. All right, so here's everything you get in the box. Of course, you have the main component of the Legend Driver, and then you have the buckle with the belt. Now, if you know me at all, I don't usually like to put the belt on, and unfortunately with this one, I couldn't take it off. So this part over here does detach, but this side does not, and there's nothing I could do about it. I would much rather just have the buckle part. You can see that it operates very similar to Decade's buckle, and I believe the Decade uh, core will also fit on the same one. I believe it is the same. I think these pieces, these like translucent gold pieces, get in the way a little bit, but it will still like click on, and then when you go to try to close it, it doesn't close fully, but I believe you can pop it on there. Uh, so anyway, I had to put the belt buckle on this one because just having one side of a belt buckle looked kind of dumb. So at least it helps it stand up a little bit. So there we go. Uh, but yeah, so there's not really any electronics in this piece. It's literally just the functionality of opening and closing this, very similar to Decade's driver. Uh, and then, of course, we have the main section here. Now, here is this plastic piece that you have to unscrew these two screws down here to pop this off, and then you load in your three AAA batteries, replace it, screw it back in, then you got the on and off switch right there. You have these gates opening. Um... Honestly, I think they get in the way more than anything else, but we'll get into that later. And then we have our three cards that are included. So, of course, we have the Legend card. It's an EX. Very nice. Very nice sparkly holofoil. Really love the look of that. Now, it says it's LS. I'm assuming that is a uh, Legend series or maybe limited. I'm trying to remember what the codes mean, and I don't know of an LS, so... That might be a new one, but it says that he matches with a vehicle card. So I'm really confused about that. So I don't know <laughs> what's going on. Uh, it's part of the TCS series number 29, but it looks fantastic. Uh, next up, we have Kuga and Fize. Now, these are very similar to the ones that were in, I think, phase one. I don't think they're really any different, except that these are TCS uh, 28 and 27. So, or maybe it's a 26. I always confuse the 6s and the 8s because they're very small. No, that is 8. I was right. So that's 27 and 28. And then I think I said this guy was 29. Yeah, he's 29. 
So again, aesthetically, I don't think they're any different. They just have a different numbering system, and you can see that they have the L there. Oh, that's probably that's probably Legend Special. That's probably what LS is, Legend Special. Um, but yeah, these guys just have they're part of a different series down here, but otherwise, I believe they're exactly the same. Should function in all the drivers exactly the same, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So not really anything super interesting there, but it's just nice to get some Legend cards if you don't have any already because that's kind of the primary thing that this functions on. So I'm gonna put these off to the side for the moment and we'll get into this. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. You can see the on and off switch right here and the speaker I believe is here, it is down here, right here where you can see. Now handling this thing, these will probably flip up on their own sometimes, which is kind of annoying. Um, I kind of really hate them, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Aesthetically, they look fine. They're that kind of translucent gold plastic. But I don't really need it. Like, I understand... No, I don't know. I don't know. I guess they just wanted it to be a little bit more grand. But I honestly... I kind of hate them. And I think I've already seen pictures of people, like, removing them. Uh, I think it would still work. I don't know that for sure, so I'm not going to test it. But yeah, they really just... They get in the way more than anything else. But we'll deal with it. So we're going to go ahead and connect this. So you have to make sure you don't do it upside down. So you can see that there is uh, a little kind of like triangle, like Trivial Pursuit wedge piece there. And that has to go in this little section here. So basically you just want to make sure that the card loader is on the right if you were wearing it. So we'll go ahead and, well, first of all, let's turn it on. So it says its name and you can go ahead and connect it. So now it is connected there. Now the cool thing about this is it actually has background music built into it. So if you open and close it without any cards in it. It'll start playing background music, which I think is kind of cool. And then if you just open it and close it again, the background music will stop. I can't play very much for you because of copyright reasons. Uh, also, if while it's on, you disconnect this from the driver or the belt buckle piece. Same thing happens. It'll start playing it, connect it again, take it off again, it'll stop. So that's kind of neat. Two different ways to activate the background music. I believe it's the same song both times. Uh, and it will not stop until you close it and open it again or attach it and detach it again without a card inside. It'll just keep playing and playing and playing forever. But it's kind of neat. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of a cool little feature. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this back on. And let's go ahead and transform here with our legend card. So we're just going to slide this in, making sure that the face of the card is facing forward. So there you go, we are transformed. I just, especially when you're trying to like open and close these, now these are in the way. Honestly, I would have been fine if it was just this and all it did was flip from side to side. I really would not have had a problem with that. I mean, that's basically how Decades works. So I don't know. I think now Decades obviously starts vertically when he inserts the card, then he closes it and it goes to the side. They've done it backwards here. But I would have been fine if it worked exactly like Decades. It would have been easier to load the cards from the top, have it flip to the side, just remove these and just have this piece here because I think this all looks great. Really nice metallic paint here. Gold, green, red, that all looks sharp. You can see the card. I think that totally works. Um, I feel like they tried to reinvent the wheel and they didn't need to. And now we just have these big doors that are just in the way and they're kind of annoying. But uh, if we close this up, we'll go into an attack.
So there you go, there's your attack. I'll be honest, it's pretty difficult to get these cards out. I appreciate that they kind of sculpted in like a divot here so you can get your card, or your, your card, your finger in behind the card. Um, but it's still just kind of difficult. So, But there we go. That is the transformation and attack for Legend. But of course, we do have two other Legend Rider cards that came with this that we can try. So we'll start here with Kuga. It's really, I'm afraid I'm going to ruin these cards taking them in and out of here. I don't know why it's so difficult to get them out. I feel like Decades didn't really have that problem. Anyway, up next we have Fize. So there we go. I'm going to do that again because the door didn't open properly. Also, that standby, like, pulsating sound is crazy annoying. <laughs> I do love that you get the little complete and the little like jingle sound there from Fize. I think that's really cool. I'm gonna try to, maybe it'd be, you know, it might just be easier to take them out from the top. I think it's just because you have to reach kind of strangely from the side. Plus, then we can spare the pulsating, loud, angry sound. So we're going to go with that. So there you go. <laughs> Those are the three cards that come with it. But, of course, it does read several other cards. So I'm going to uh, first show off the three cards that we came with this and the other things. Just to kind of do the f complete review for everything that came with this. And then I'll come back at the end and run through all of the cards I have. Because there are uh, quite a stack of cards here all the different legend riders and a couple other random chemi cards that we'll try so uh i'm gonna go ahead and use the three cards that came with this and the other devices to kind of complete this review and we'll come back at the end and bring this back for all the other legend riders so up first we have the x gacha caliber so we'll start here with legend So very cool, it says Legend. So much easier to pull cards out of this one. All right, next up we have Kuga. And then lastly, we have Fize.
All right, up next we have the X Gacha Caliber connected to the Gacha driver. So here is Legend. So kind of a little generic um, combination or transformation sound there. Next up, Kuga. And lastly, Fies. So we've definitely heard the sound before of combining Kuga with Fies, but just for fun, we'll go ahead and do it again. So I don't think Legend pairs with anything. It does down here have a symbol of a vehicle card, but I don't know what vehicle card it would match with. We're going to try it on its own first. So that's just kind of the generic sound effect of two cards that don't match. Now again, I have no idea what vehicle card it would work with, but I happen to have Steamliner handy, so we'll try that and see what happens. Of course. Can't use this thing more than twice without it giving me a read error. So that same kind of generic sound. Next up, we'll try them in the Kemi riser. And 
And then since we have them here, we'll do Kuga and Fize as well. And then lastly, we'll try these three in the Valva Rusher. I hate that the speaker for this is on the back of the handle. That's some of the worst planning I've ever seen. <laughs> So all three pretty much make the same sound. All right, so that takes care of those three cards and just about every other role play toy that I have. So we'll jump back to the Legend Driver here and start going through some of the other cards. Uh, I'm just going to do Hopper 1 and Steam Liner just because they're kind of the main two. And then we'll get into some Legend Riders. Yeah, definitely a little easier to pull them out from the top. All right, and then we'll do Steam Liner. Now, I believe this will read everything. I believe it's a full reader, but obviously I can't go through every Ride Kemi card because that will take forever. I'm assuming it says Steam Liner, but it really sounds like Steam Rider to me. All right, I'm going to run through the stack here. Um, I have, I think, everyone except Decayed, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I am not going to do Double and O's here because they come with the gun, which I'll probably do tomorrow. So I'll bring this back and we'll do that tomorrow just to spread it around a little bit. But otherwise, we'll go through. So next up is Agito. Ryuki. Thank <laughs> you. 
since we already did thighs. Hey, Vicky. Cover toe. Dano. Now I wanted to throw this in here. Uh, I have Xeranos. Xeranos is the only secondary rider that I have so far. I got from the uh, wafer packs. Um, I haven't gotten the Soto set that also had a bunch of the secondary riders. So this is probably just going to say Deno, but we'll see. Yeah, kind of what I expected, but I thought it was worth a shot. Next up, we have Kiva. So next up would be Decayed, but like I said, it's the only one that I don't have, unfortunately. And I'm going to skip Double and O's, as I mentioned before, because they come with a gun that we'll probably take a look at tomorrow. So that takes us all the way to Forze.
I love Forza's transformation jingle. That's so fun. Wizard? My personal favorite, Gaim. Excellent. I kind of wish the attack sound was very much tailored to the rider as well, but I guess they don't have enough room for all those sounds. Drive. I really love Drive's little jingle there as well. Exit. Build.
And then last up for Heisei, we have Geo. Alright, so moving into Rewa, we have zero one. That's fantastic. Saber. Wow, we got the full dragon transformation. That's really cool. Now we have Revi and Vice for Revice. It's a great pair of jeans. Next up, Vice. All right, so now we're getting into the Geats cards. As you probably know, Phase Zero had a ton of different Geats cards. So let's just try them.
All right, up next, Jin. That's right, the sponsors are in here too. Tycoon? I think for the sake of time, because we got a lot of these Geats cards to go through, I'm just going to do the transformation. The attack sound is pretty much the same, and it just says the name of the rider again. So I think we get the point of that. So we just want to hear all the different transformations. Nago. Buffer. That sound effect at the end of Zombie always grosses me out. Glare. Gazer. That 
And then the guy whose show it is to begin with, Guitard. And just when you thought we might be done, there's some Sentai fun to be had. So for uh, the two King Oger members, you don't quite get the full transformation jingle from the show, but still very cool that it says their name and include them in there. Uh, that's a ton of functionality. I mean, all of the different transformation jingles for all of the Legend Riders, you know, specific to what they actually did in the show, especially with like, you know, the Riders after Decade. I mean, that is a stack of Rider cards and it has sounds for all of them. That's pretty impressive. So I'm not going to lie, that was a long one. There was a lot to go over for this one, but very, very cool. I really like the DX Legend Driver. So much functionality. It reads all of the rider cards. Most of them it has like their very distinct jingle from the show. In the beginning, I'm sure those are actually their jingles, but they were a lot more basic. When we started to get to like, you know, double going forward, very specific transformation jingles, which are all included. I can't believe all of the Geats cards were also included. The riders, the sponsors, all of that. Very, very cool. Um, we know that it can it's a full reader. It can read the other cards as well. The sound effects for the regular Ride Kemi cards, not as exciting, but it can read them, which is kind of cool. Uh, you know, functionality-wise, I think this thing is amazing. I love the way it kind of opens and closes the same way as the Deca Driver, just because it's an obvious nod to that. I think that's so cool. My biggest problem with this thing is these stupid hinges. I just think they're unnecessary. I think they get in the way. Um, I kind of wish it was just like this section here, and you loaded it from the top, closed it, it flipped to the side, just like the Deca Driver. I think that system worked perfectly well. I don't know why they felt they needed to reinvent it. I also wish that I could take the belt off. I know I can unhook this half, but I can't unhook this half. And I don't really need the whole belt. You know, I just want to use it. So that's a bit of a bummer for me personally. Probably not a big deal for most people. But again, just me personally, I don't care for that. Um, I like the background music as well. I think that's kind of cool. Like I said, I can't play much of it for you because of copyright reasons. But uh, opening and closing it or detaching it and reattaching it uh, when there's no card inside will start the background music. I think it's just the one song, but still pretty cool. I think that was a neat little inclusion and kind of makes it feel more of like a premium Bandai release, even though it's regular retail, which is really cool. Uh, the Common Rider Legend card looks fantastic. You get uh, Kuga and Fives, which you may already have if you've been collecting the cards. Like I said, they were previously available in Phase 1. But if you didn't get them, here's a good way to get them pretty easily. As we know, uh, Double and O's are coming with the gun, which I should probably know the full name of this thing. The Legend Ride Magnum. So that's probably what we'll take a look at tomorrow. Um, functions very similarly to DN's gun. So with this, uh, Legend actually transforms into the Legend Riders. With the Magnum, he can summon them. So it's kind of cool. He's got the best of both worlds there. Uh, but yeah, this is a really fun release. I think if you've been collecting the cards up to this point, definitely going to want to pick this up, especially if you're a fan of Legend Riders. 
Uh, as you saw, there's so much functionality in this and it's a ton of fun. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.